The replay mod for Minecraft should be easy to install. I'm going to teach you how to download and install this mod for Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's get started. The first step for downloading and installing the replay mod, surprisingly, it's downloading the replay mod. In order to do so, go ahead and click on the second link in the description. That'll bring you to a written guide on how to download and install the replay mod. You even have an index in here so you can move through the steps. And as you can see, if we go to the requirements, we're going to need Fabric, the Fabric mod loader, as well as the Fabric API and the FFMPEG which is going to allow us to export the recordings that we make as a video. Because if we don't get this, and this is also in the replay mod official website, if we don't get this, we're not going to be able to get that video out of there. We're not going to be able to get the recording. Anyways, let's go step by step. First thing you want to do is download the replay mod. Click on the second link in the description. Let's scroll a little bit down and where it says how to download the replay mod, click on download. That'll redirect you to the replay mod official website where you can look for the desired version. Of course, this tutorial is for the most recent version of Minecraft, which is 1.20.4. Once you locate that, go ahead and click where it says download, and that'll begin the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for you guys, it's going to download right away. If you're using Chrome, you can find it here in your recent downloads in this little arrow. If you're using any other browser, I hope you understand your browser. If not, you can always find it in your downloads folder in your computer. Anyways, once that file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now, go back into the guide. Let's scroll a little bit down until you find the FFMPEG button. Go ahead and click on it and that will redirect you over here where you're going to, well, first of all, I want you to go over to the content if you have to, because if you're doing this for Mac or Linux, you're going to have to click on it in here. But if you're just doing this for Windows, then you most likely will be redirected right here where it says Windows once you click on that button. And all you have to do is click on this green sentence in here, which will start the download for the FF mpeg file which like i said is going to allow us to export the videos out of the game okay if not we won't be able to edit those files at all now we have replay mod and we have the zip file now at this point of the video if you already have fabric installed fabric the mod loader all you have to do okay is drag and drop this mod into the mods folder which you probably know where it is because you already have fabric and then the content of this zip file just drag and drop it into the Minecraft installation folder, okay? Right outside your mods folder. So if you have Fabric, that's all you have to do and you are done, you are ready to use the replay mod. However, I'm assuming that most of you watching this guide don't have Fabric and I'm gonna show you how to get Fabric installed. To install Fabric, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is gonna bring you to our reading guide on how to download and install the Fabric mod loader. Once in here, go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download Fabric loader here. And then you're gonna click download universal jar. Of course, you could read through our guide and stuff, but I'm gonna make this real quick for you guys so you could just follow along. Once you have that Fabric installer, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, if you go back to our replay mod guide, you will see that you also need the Fabric API. As a matter of fact, that the Fabric API is required for most mods to work with Fabric. It's just a file that will allow mods to be compatible with Fabric. To download the Fabric API, go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description. Let's scroll down and click where it says download Fabric API here. Of course, again, you can read through the guide and stuff, but we're just going to make this quick. Once you're here in this site, you want to scroll down and you want to find 1.20.4. As you can see, it's right here, 1.20.4. Don't download the 1.20.5 because it won't work. So 1.20.4, click on the little three dots, click download file, that redirects you over here, and within five seconds, your file will start downloading. Once you have that file, I want you to also drag and drop it into your desktop. You already know, we like dragging and dropping things into our desktop in this channel. Anyways, let's wait for that bar to go away. There we go. And now we have everything we need to make sure we get this working. First thing you want to do, make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed as well as your Minecraft game. And then you want to double click on the fabric installer to install fabric. It's that simple. Once you double click on that, the fabric installer will come up. Of course, you could change through the versions in here, but 1.20.4 is already selected. And that's really what we're trying to install here. Go ahead and click on install. Once you have 1.20.4 selected, and as you can see, it's successfully installed. You could go ahead and click on OK and close the installer. And you could even get rid of the fabric installer now. We don't need it anymore. Now, what we're going to do is put these two mods together and this file right here next to it. And we're going to open our Minecraft launcher. Give it a second for the Minecraft launcher to load. And while the Minecraft launcher is loading, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're trying to create a Minecraft server, either for Java or Bedrock, a Minecraft server that is open 24 seven, that is not using your computer resources and it's not exposing your IP address or anything like that, Apex Hosting is here for you. Not only they provide you with a bunch of advantages, but they also allow you to control the server console through your phone, which means that you could be at Walmart or you could be at a school or wherever you are and you could control your server, kick people out, change the settings, OP people, whatever you want to do using Apex Hosting. And if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off. Let's get back into the tutorial. As you can see, our Minecraft launcher already open. And if we install 
the fabric loaded properly, it should be selected automatically right here. As you can see in my case, it's selected automatically. All you have to do now is head over to installations and find your fabric loader in here. As you can see, we have it right there. Make sure modded is selected because if you don't have modded selected, you won't see it in there. And then once you have fabric in here, go ahead and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. You can minimize the launcher for now. And now we have a big folder with a lot of files. And what we're looking for in here is for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my mods folder is right here. And I have some mods in there. However, if you don't have your mods folder, if when you look for it, you don't find it, you could just right click, press new and click folder and then name that folder M-O-D-S and you could create the mods folder yourself. Once you create that mods folder, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop these two jar files that we downloaded earlier, the replay mod and the fabric API, drag and drop them into the mods folder. I'm not gonna do that right now because as you can see, I already have the replay mod and I have the fabric API. So I don't really need to do that. Actually, look, why not? Let me go ahead and delete mines, right? And drag and drop them. There you go. I drag and drop them for you guys so you see that this works, right? So you drag and drop the fabric API and now I want you to go out of this folder, out of the mods folder, back into the folder with a lot of files and I want you to open this zip file that we downloaded. If you're using Windows 11, all you have to do is double click it. If you're using Windows 10, you might need something like WinRAR. I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to install WinRAR, it's super simple. And it's going to allow you to open zip files. And then once you open this folder, all you have to do is drag and drop this folder into this big folder, right? Just drop it into an empty space. I already have it. And as you can see, it's asking me to replace the files. Let's go ahead and replace all the files. I don't really care. And as you can see now, that FFMPEG folder is in the Minecraft game. We could close this folder. We could even delete this zip file now. Go back to your launcher and click play next to the fabric loader. Click that you understand the risk and click play again. And let's wait for the game to load. And once our game has opened, we know that replay mod is working because if we head over to single player, we can see that record single player has become an option up here. And if we go ahead and open any world, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one that I had here to do some guides for you guys. You can see that as soon as I load into the world, and you could also record multiplayer, by the way, as long as it's your own server and you could add the replay mod. If you want to create your own server, of course, use the first link in the description. As you can see, as soon as we load into a world, we already have the replay mod starting out and recording. That's because we selected that option before we came into the world. But of course, we could press escape and pass recording or stop the recording. If we save and quit to the title, let's go ahead and save and quit. As you can see, the file will uh, save in here. We could change the name of it. We could click done and we could also click on the replay viewer right here. And in here we could select any recording that we had and we could edit it, right? We could split it and we could click load and that would like load our recording and we could edit it. We could edit our recording. We could do the takes that we want in here. You know, we could do all the cinematics and yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install the replay mod for Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and as always, bye bye.